Hello lovely people. My name is TTJ KFC Richard and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today our discussion on calculus will be the differentiation involving inverse cyclic functions. Last we learn how to find the derivative of the inverse cyclic functions. Please, if you have not watched that video, check it out on YouTube. So in that video we say that if y is equal to sine inverse of x, sine inverse of x is the same as arc sine x. So if y is equal to sine inverse of x, then you have ideas with 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Then if y is equal to cos inverse of x or arc cos x, then you have ideas with negative 1 all over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Then if y is equal to tan inverse of x or arc tan x, then you have ideas with 1 over 1 plus x squared. Then if y is equal to sec inverse of x or arc sec x, then you have ideas we we'll go to 1 over x, the square root of x squared minus 1. Then if y is equal to cot inverse of x, or arc cot x, then you have the with the negative 1, all over 1 plus x squared. Then the last one, if y is equal to cosec inverse of x, or arc cosec x, then you have the with the negative 1, all over x, the square root of x squared minus 1. We learn how to differentiate all these things. Please check it out on YouTube. So with our knowledge, of this as well as chain product and quotient rule we don't have problem in today's lesson please this will be a very interesting engagement so watch the video till the end so let's have our first question let's say if y is equal to x squared sine inverse of x find dy over ds we are going to apply product product rule in solving this question what does product rule mean product rule means that when two different functions are multiplying we use the product rule in differentiating so now from plural we say we should let a variable u to be equal to the first function here x squared then another variable v to be equal to the second function here sine inverse of x so we'll differentiate u with respect to x du over dx will be equal to 2x then our dv over dx remember this is sine inverse of x so it will be 1 all over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So from plural rule, plural rule is saying that our derivative dy over dx will be equal to v du over dx plus u dv over dx. So what's our v? v is sine inverse of x. So sine inverse of x. Then the u over the s is 2x, so 2x. Then plus, what's u? u is x squared. And the v over the s is 1 all over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So we can call it this. We have 2x sine inverse of x plus x squared over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So something is common. x is common to both sides. We can bring it up. So we have x out. 2 sine inverse of x. Then plus x all over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Then this becomes our derivative for this our function. I hope you get that. Please play over the video and I know that you understand this better now we'll solve our second question so we'll solve our second question is it given that y is equal to 1 plus actan x over 2 minus 3 actan x find your ideas remember we said that actan x is the same as tan inverse x so we'll use what is known as quotient rule to solve this question please check out differentiation using quotient rule of my, of my video on differentiation using question root on ut. So we can rewrite the whole, this whole question as y equal to 1 plus tan inverse of x over 2 minus 3 tan inverse of x. So what do we do? We we'll use question root. We we'll let u to be equal to the numerator 1 plus tan inverse of x then we'll let v to be equal to the denominator 
2 minus 3 tan inverse of x. Now the differentiate is 10 by 10. Or the u over the s will be equal to a differential of 1 is 0. And the differential of tan inverse of s is nothing but 1 over 1 plus s squared. Now our dv over the x will be equal to a differential of 2 constant is 0. And the differential of minus 3 tan inverse of s will be minus 3 over 1 plus s squared. That will be negative 3 times the differential of tan inverse of s. And the differential of tan inverse of s is 1 over 1 plus s squared. Now, what is quotient we say? Quotient we say that our derivative dy over ds will be equal to v du over ds minus u dv over ds all over v squared. So now we substitute. What's our V? V is this. V is 2 minus 3 tan inverse of x. Then the u over the s is 1. 1 over 1 plus s squared minus. What's our u? U is 1 plus tan inverse of s. So our u is 1 plus tan inverse of s. Then the dv over ds is negative 3 all over 1 plus s squared. So we expand this bracket. Remember it's all over v squared. So the v is 2 minus 3 up tan x squared. Yes, we shouldn't forget the v squared. This is quotient rule. So now we have 2 minus 3 tan inverse of x, which is the same as up tan x all over 1 plus x squared minus now 3 multiplied negative uh, 1 will be negative 3. 3 multiplied this will be negative. 3 tan inverse of x over 1 plus x squared then all over our fraction which is 2 minus 3 up tan x squared so what do we have we expand this bracket so we have 2 let me change the tan inverse of x to up tan so 2 minus 3 up tan x so this time this will be plus 3 this time this will be plus 3 change this thing to up tan x up tan x so this is this is over 1 plus x squared and this over 1 plus x squared then all over our fraction which is 2 minus 3 up tan x or square. So now we can see that the LCM is the same. We just re repeat the numerator and repeat and bring one of the denominators. So we have 2 minus 3 up tan x plus 3 plus 3 up tan x all over 2 minus 3 okay all over this our denominator first 1 plus x squared then over 2 minus 3 up tan x all squared now look at it 2 plus 3 is 5 Negative 3 actan s plus 3 actan s is nothing but 0. So our top there will be left with 25. So we have 5 over 1 plus s squared. Then I can say divided by, since it is divided, divided by 2 minus 3 actan x all squared. 
Remember, this is over one. We can change our division problem to multiplication problem. So we have 5 over 1 plus x squared times 1 all over 2 minus 3 actan x all squared. So I'll polish it very well. We have 5 all over 1 plus x squared in bracket, then 2 minus 3 actan x all squared. Then this becomes our derivative or derivative of our ds of this our function. I hope you get that. Please play over the video and practice it more and I know you'll be convenient with it. We saw our third question. They say if y is equal to x actan s all square, you should find the of ds. It's a very good one. See, two different functions are multiply x and actan s square. So we use product rule. And that product rule, look at it, this is squaring. So we can use uh, chain rule as well. So let's see how we go about it. So we say we let u to be equal to x and v to be equal to actan x. Remember, actan x is the same as tan inverse of x. So we differentiate u with respect to s. d over the s is 1. Now this, first, what we need to do is that we we'll let a different variable to be called to act on x. So let's say let a, then we we'll use chain rule to do that. So let a to be equal to act on x. So we differentiate a with respect to x. That's dA over dx. dA over dx, remember, this time inverse of x will just be 1 over 1 plus x squared. Then this function change entirely. V change entirely. V will be equal to, in place of actan x, we put a. So that will be a squared. Then we find dv over dA. That will be equal to 2a. So from Puraro, to find dv over ds, our dv over ds from chain rule will be equal to there product of these two that's dA over the x times dv over the a look at it the a will knock out the a then we'll have our dv over the s back now as far as our d over the s d over the s is this that's one over one plus s square then times what is our dv over the s dv over the dv over the is two a so two a on polish this, we have 2a all over 1 plus s squared. So our dv over ds will be equal to 2. What's our a? A is arc tan x. So we start with you. So arc tan x all over 1 plus s squared. So now we know our dv over ds. We know dv over d, ds. We apply the program rule. To differentiate that. So we let u to be equal to s r d over the s was one. And we let v to be equal to up tan square of up tan x square and dv over the s was two up tan x all over one plus s square. So we can apply our product rule now. Our dy over the x will be equal to v du over the x plus u dv over the x all over of okay. this product is not quotient so v d over the x plus u dv over the x so what's our v our v is arc tan x all square then what's our d over the x one so times one then plus what's u U is x, dv over ds is 2 up tan x over 1 plus x squared. So we can polish this. We have up tan x all square. Then plus this will multiply this. You have 2x 
arc tan x over 1 plus x squared. What do we do? We find the LCM. This is over 1. The LCM will be 1 plus x squared. So what do we have? So if 1 goes here, it will be 1 plus that. 1 plus x squared. So we have 1 plus x squared times tan x all squared. And this goes here 1. So it will be 2x tan x. Now what is common? tan is common to the 2. So we can bring it out. So we have actan x out. What is left? We will be left with 1 plus x squared arc tan x then plus 2x all over 1 plus x squared. Then this becomes our gradient function or the derivative of this function. This very function. I hope you get that. So let's look at our fourth question. Is it given that y is equal to x squared sec inverse of 1 plus x squared? We should find the value of our ds. So two different functions are multiplying. We we'll use product rule again. So we we'll let u to be equal to x squared, then v to be equal to sec inverse of 1 plus x squared. So we we'll differentiate u with respect to s or the u over ds is equal to 2x. Now we differentiate it. We find sec on both sides. And the sec inverse will go away. So we have sec v will be equal to 1 plus x squared. Now we differentiate sec v. So the differential of sec v, we use implicit differentiation if you remember that. Sec v will be sec v tan v dv over ds because it's implicit. And v is the dependent. And to be equal to a differential of 1 is 0. A differential of x squared is 2x. Now we'll make dv ds the subject. Our dv over ds will be equal to 2x all over sec v tan v. Now we, we, we have a relationship. We know that sec v is 1 plus x squared, but we don't know tan v. But we have a relationship that says that uh, 1 plus tan square v is equal to sec square v. So we can make tan square v in the subject. Tan square v will be equal to sec square v minus 1. So our tan v will be equal to the square root of sec square v minus 1. So we substitute. So our dv over ds will be equal to 2x over set v. Then in place of tan v, we put the square root of sec square v minus 1. So our dv over ds will be equal to 2x all over what sec v. Sec v is 1 plus x squared. So we have 1 plus x squared. The square root of set v again is 1 plus x squared, so we have 1 plus x squared all squared minus 1. So we have our dv over ds to be 2x and dv over ds to be 2x all over 1 plus x squared, the square root of 1 plus x squared all squared minus 1. I want to simplify this further. See, 1 plus x squared all squared means 1 plus x squared 1 plus these repeated roots so 1 times 1 is 1 1 times x squared will be x squared this x squared times 1 will be x squared then x squared times x squared will be x x to the 4 so that will be 1 plus this will be 2x squared plus x x to the 4 so we can substitute it there we we'll have 2x over 1 plus x squared the square root of, in place of this, 1 plus x squared all squared, we'll put 1 plus 2x squared plus x exponent 4 
Let me mind this our one. On polish that feather, you have two s all over one plus s squared. Then one minus one will be zero. We'll be left with the square root of two s squared plus s exponent four. We can polish it further. Get two s all over one plus s squared. There's something common there. S squared is common. So we have s squared two plus s exponent four. 2, 2 plus s exponent 2. Now, we will find the square root of s squared to be x. So, we can solve that. We we'll have 2 s all over x, 1 plus s squared, then root of 2 plus s squared. I hope you get that. So, now this will be our d v over dx. So now, since we know we are finding our dv over ds and dv over ds, we can just substitute into the plural rule to find our differential. You see, this s can also divide that s, so we we'll have 2 all over that. So let's have 2 all over 1 plus s squared and the square root of 2 plus s squared. So our dy over dx from plural rule will be v the u over dx plus u the v over dx so what's our v v is sec inverse of 1 plus s squared then our d u over ds is 2x so times 2x then plus u is s squared and our dv over ds is 2 bracket 1 plus s squared root of 2 plus s squared. Now we can polish that. We have 2s sec inverse of 1 plus s squared then plus 2s squared over 1 plus s squared root of 2 plus so, in our share, our dy over ds will equal to 2s sec inverse of 1 plus s square and plus 2s square over 1 plus s square root of 2 plus s square. I hope, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. So please we solve this. This will be our last question on this. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post more of this, you'll be the first to receive it. Now I say if y is equal to x sine inverse of x plus root of one minus x squared to find dy by ds. So this one we differentiate them 10 by 10. So we differentiate this 10 different. So we say that our dy over ds will be equal to the differential of this then plus the differential of this so we differentiate them individually so now we we'll differentiate this using product rule so product rule is saying that Keep one differentiate the other. So let's do that. Keep we'll keep x and differentiate sine inverse of s. So we'll keep s and differentiate sine inverse of s. We get one over root of one minus s squared. Then plus now keep sine inverse of s and differentiate x. When we differentiate s, we we'll get one. Then we we'll keep multiply it by sine inverse of x. I hope you get that. Then plus this this is this so let me write this first this can be written as one minus s square exponent half so let's polish this to have x over root of one minus s square plus sine inverse of x then plus this we need to differentiate it using chain rule but we can do it with that chain rule we'll draw 
we'll drop the exponent, half, differentiate what is in a bracket. Undifferentiate one is zero, we'll differentiate this, we we'll get negative two x. Now we'll repeat the bracket and subtract one from the exponent. We'll subtract one from half, we we'll get negative half. So we can polish that, half s over the square root of one minus s squared, plus sine inverse of x, then this will be minus because of the negative here. 2 going to 2, 1. We'll be left with x, then times 1 minus x squared, exponent negative half. We can rewrite this using, using indices. So this will be equal to x over root of 1 minus x squared plus sine inverse of x minus x over 1 minus x squared exponent half. Remember, any number exponent half is the same as the square root of that number. So half x all over root of 1 minus x squared plus sine inverse of x then minus x over root of 1 minus x squared. I hope you get that. The this exponent half is the same as root of x, 1 minus x squared. So this is the same as this, you can subtract. So what is left there? The only thing that is left there, which is our derivative, is sine inverse of x. Then this becomes our derivative of this function. I hope you get that. We'll end it here today. Please, before you sign on, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. So that anytime I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Until we meet again, bye-bye.